<laughs> you see what I'm saying? He did like Pac. He did like Pac. Okay, how bro, you know? What did how he do you know he like Pac? Bro, he spit this. He spit this hook that he made up to me one day. Okay, and I don't think he ever made the song. <laughs> I hope I don't get copyrighted, but I'm gonna say the hook. Mm-hmm. And I I really don't know who he was talking to on this song, but okay. when I heard the hook. It, I, I just, man, he just had me rolling, man. I was, I was, I was. He was talking about Pop. Well, he was he was talking about somebody else telling them they ain't Pop. And the hook okay. went like, you ain't Pop, you ain't Pop, you ain't Pop, so go ahead with yourself. You ain't Pop, who? Not you. You ain't you Pop, ain't Pop, 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 roll. Pop roll. I said, boy, you throw, man. Hey. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. Go, I, I go back down to Atlanta when you were staying down there with him. It might have been before or after, but D.O.C. was on here. And D.O.C. talked about meeting Pimp C. in Atlanta when he was staying with M.C. Breed. Mm-hmm. And this was a time when he says that Tupac was around. This is early on. Got to be early on. Tupac still was around. And he made mention like they was all in the same setting. Was there ever a time that you knew that he linked with Breed or any of those guys down there, or you and him were just isolated to where you guys were living? And how long did you stay in Atlanta with him? About two and a half. Two and a half years? No, 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 like months. Oh, months on on projects? Yeah, it was like uh, like a whole summer. Okay. Yeah, it was like a whole summer. Uh, What year was that? Man, what oh, we got him thinking now. <laughs> Boy, I wouldn't be able to think of that. That's why I'm glad I'm over here. Man, my, you know, my memory is terrible. Bro. Yeah. I want to say, let's see, I graduated in 98. So that had to be like 01, 02 or something like that. 01, 02? Yeah, it was It was after I graduated from college. Okay, so yeah, Pac would have been long dead at this time. Yeah. So early. Oh, he year. he did like Pac though, bro. I know. He I, did I like heard Pac. what what, yeah. what why when you say he did like Pac, give me an example of why you would even say that. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? He did like Pac. He did like Pac. Okay, how bro, you know what did how he do say you know he like Pac? Bro, he spit this he spit this hook that he made up to me one day. Okay. And I don't think he ever made the song. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't get copyrighted, but I'm going to say the hook. Mm-hmm. And I, I really don't know who he was talking to on this song, but okay. when I heard the hook, it I, I just, man, he just had me rolling, man. I was, I was, I, he was talking about Pac. Well, he was, he was talking about somebody else telling them they ain't Pac. And the hook oh, okay. went like, you ain't Pac, you ain't Pac, you ain't Pac, so go ahead with yourself. You ain't Pac, who? Not you. You ain't you pop, ain't pop, 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 I said, boy, you throw, man. Hey, he was letting a nigga know. This was, he's like, nigga, you ain't no pop. You, it was somebody up there acting like pop. Yeah, yeah. And he was trying to let him know that you was not pop. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was in about 2000 that was when you was down there yeah we wow. was riding together one day man he started spitting that hook to me I, was, I just busted out laughing <laughs> I got an idea who you was talking about but I ain't, I ain't nah you ain't gotta say it man <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was a couple dudes doing, trying to be pocket this time yeah, yeah, and yeah. I didn't know it yeah you know yeah. but but I mean people get inspired man it's people that start trying to sound like uh, Pimp C after he passed away yeah you know, yeah. this is inspiration, bro. Yeah. They try hard, like, but you get it. They want to want that person back, you know? Yeah. And it's almost like, man, you trying to sound like Pop, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's like, you trying to sound like Pimp. Like Pimp. You trying to sound like Pop. You trying to yeah. sound like Biggie or whoever, you know? You is know there what? Any, I, oh, go ahead. I, I think a lot of people, uh, they do it and don't realize they doing it. Okay. Do you think, what's the name sounded like uh, uh, Biggie? When he came out, uh, Shine, tell me not, we want to rap with shine, us. More so, a, that gorilla, uh, gorilla, yeah, gorilla, more so him. Gorilla, uh, Shine kind of gave me his own little vibe. I didn't really catch Biggie from him, but I did. That catch deepness it from him. to be so little and to be around uh, 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 P Diddy made yeah. me think about Biggie. Yeah. Is there anybody who came out that reminded you of um, Pimp C? No, not hey, really. No. Not really. I can't. Even, I can't think about. It. I think that's why. I think that's why he's so missed. 
because mm. there's nobody out there that really reminds you of him. You know, all you got is the stories and, and the music yeah. that, he, that he recorded. Or even try to emulate him. You could try, but it is not going to be the same mm. because of the well, way, to me, and it's from a fan perspective, um, just the way he left it all on the track. He ain't played no game when nah, he went. He, he, he wasn't no filter, nah. no none of that, and nobody ain't gonna be able to do that unless they coming from their heart with it. Yeah, and it was really like a Pac, yeah. cause Pac do the same thing. Like when you listen to him on hit him up, hit him up, or yeah. any of that stuff he would do it. He wasn't trying to let. He was. It's like you you in a car and the gas is punched all the way to the floor. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and I think that's that's probably why Pimp liked him so much, cause he was full throttle all the way. That's what. Like, <laughs> that's that's how he. That's was, what you know it what was. Yeah, yeah. The dope yeah. artists, man, just very, very dope. So, yeah, so you, 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 yeah, you would have came later on, so you wouldn't know about the time. But uh, I just know too short and said that he didn't know if he had met him either. But then when DOC came on, he kind of alluded to the fact that they were kind of all in the same settings, or he seen him down there during that time. And it just, it's always. And I didn't ask him a direct question about it when it, when he was here. If I'd have mm. thought about it, I would have. Yeah. But after I went back, you know how you sitting back looking at it, like, dang, I missed that. You know? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> nah, but he got around though, man. He, you know, he made his rounds. What was going mm-hmm. on in Atlanta at this time in them two months? Give me some. Give me some. Uh, give me. Uh, what, who else was it? Goody Mob coming over, popping up. Was uh, Gilp? I sure want to interview Gilp. I'm looking to interview him. We're going to Atlanta here in them, uh, a yeah. couple of days. I can't recall any of them coming to the house. They didn't ever come by. Yeah, it was pretty quiet around. He didn't have nobody lived, around. Yeah, he I just mean, focused you know, on his beats. Um, I think. I think when I first got there. I think Russell was there for maybe maybe a week or two. Okay, the, uh, on the big time records. Okay, I didn't know why. I didn't. I didn't ask. But uh, Bun Bun came there periodically. So Bun showed up. Yeah, yeah. Bun and Queenie. And yeah. Then, uh, it, it 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 was me. A cat named Young Smitty. They called him Smitty the Pimp. Uh, that's actually how I kind of. Got to meet all of them was okay. because of Smitty, but that's that's a whole nother story. Uh, I think Big Mun was there, one of his bodyguards, uh, and DJ Bird. We were okay. all at we were all at the house together. Wow. Yeah. So you know, it was just like I don't know. It was just like staying at a house with a bunch of friends, really. Yeah. You know, and uh, but uh, Pimp had you know he was. Uh, he had his wife there and his and his kid, and we were all in the house together, you know. Wow. Like, he let all of these people stay with him and his family. Mm-hmm. We were all around his family. Because everybody was family to him. Yeah, every you know, everybody was family. So that's kind of, it basically felt like uh, just a, a family yeah. is, is what it felt like. That's hard, man. Yeah, and that's, that's uh, that, but that was him, though. Even when you went around uh, Mama West. Or went around her house, you know what I'm saying? It just all felt like family, you know. You, it's, it's how, all, it was all familiar. How was you and Mama and Wes? Did you get to talk to her any time, and did you get to know her? Yeah, I didn't get to know her like in and out, but we did talk. Uh, I, I had been around a lot, like uh, uh, when uh, they had went on tour, because I went on a tour with them. They was touring with Too Short, I think Cash Money it was on a couple of dates. But uh, anyway, uh, we had I went with them on a tour, like down at the Chitlin Circuit area, you know what I'm saying? I think we hit uh, Alabama, Mississippi, all those southern states. Mm-hmm. Uh, so she was there on tour with us. So, you know, I got to be around a lot, talk to her. Yeah, she was real sweet, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to e the reason you see